Hi, we're Beth and Brian, an American couple that retired a little early and bought an abandoned farm in Southeast Sicily. We hope you'll join us as we get to know our neighbors. Store the old farmhouse and explore this absolutely beautiful island. I'm Anini. <laughs> it's September 1st, Sunday. Yeah, we're a little late. Yeah, we had some stuff going on this this month. Yeah, I burned myself. Yes. Bad. I, uh, that big. On my stomach. So I was moving some water from the back of the stove onto the front, and it, uh, the pot was having it caught on to the front burner, just splashed over the front of the stove. That was not good. No, so that was, how's that for, I don't know, most of the week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, but it just, it made me nauseous. I mean, it was really pretty. It was bad. It was pretty bad. Anyhow. Okay, done. Over. Done. Yeah, feeling much better. So we've had a few days to chill and relax, and which has been nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but, and the other part of it is, is like August is winding down. It's like all the events are starting to like go down to a normal pace. Yeah. And not intense, like three-day no. festivals and the weather's really cooled off like it has today well this august i'm not sure maybe some of you know i don't know if it's normal but we've been it's rained every day it has like it, it's about Last three weeks. three o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. we roll like thunderstorms roll in yeah. and they are massive thunderstorms yeah because we were sitting <laughs> on the front porch and i swear a bolt of lightning hit hit 50. the shed yeah it was not far from no. us at all uh, it scared freak, the yeah. poop out of yeah, totally freaked us out. Yeah. So Brian has dragged me up on top of the roof for this chat. And I got to be honest with you, I cannot stand climbing up here. It terrifies Look how beautiful it is. Yes. Even on a crappy day, it's beautiful. You may never get me off the roof now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but it's good. No, I feel like we're getting into a rhythm again. Yeah, it's good. Which is good. Mm -hmm. So, but we did, we woke up this morning to like a bunch of noise that, was before, like barely the sun was barely up and thought something had crashed outside you know six o'clock in the morning it's september 1st hunting season has begun and we live in the country uh -huh. it's pigeon hunting <laughs> pigeon hunting oh it's my goodness i mean and the the issue really the issue is that we live in this valley so even though a lot of it wasn't very close to us it sounded like it was in our backyard <laughs> I get up and ran out into the backyard. They were shooting in our yard. Yeah, so you you'll Maybe hear them. You can hear yeah, them out there shooting. But they're like way away. But everything echoes and bounces off the mm -hmm. the hills. So yeah. So but anyway, so I'm not sure how long hunting season is, but I'm kind of hoping that. Oh, stop it! It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It just it's like. You know, it's, 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 it's tradition. How they, it's how they roll here. It's tradition, and yeah. I get it. I used to love to burn hunt when I was in New Hampshire. And I get it. My dad. I do get it. Yeah. Just. It was just early. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, Prince Pesa. Oh, shush. Yeah. Shush, 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 shush. So, so you worked on the house. Oh, my God. Well, yep. you, in, in between, like, dealing with your burn yeah. and then everything else, but, you know. So. Yeah. But. so we got all the plumbing done. Oh, my God. And um, so the tanks on the roof, all the old galvanized pipe that goes from the tanks. We have two tanks. And we're up the side of the of the house and into the, all of it's gone and we replaced it with this really cool green pipe um thank you john ferguson uh it's a system it's like an iron um and you you push both pieces of the pipe you want to put together onto the iron and uh it melts them a little bit and you pop them together uh, the problem is you have to really you only have like five seconds to get it right because it immediately binds that's the only bad part but we got a green pipe from inside the shed. Yep. Um, we got the water pump. Uh, uh, Salvatore. No, not Salvatore. Silvano. Silvano. Came by and he wired the pump for us. I thought I had the pump wired all wrong because it wasn't drawing water, but the pipe that was going into the well wasn't quite far enough into the pump, so it was sucking too much air and it wouldn't. Anyhow. It's done now. It's done. So we can turn and we can turn on the water. Mm -hmm. We have pressure. We can have a shower doesn't feel like an old man peeing on your head i didn't i said that it's terrible it was terrible it's really nice not to have water pressure yeah even doing the dishes yeah washing the dishes it's like oh the, everything is yes it's so much better yeah it's, it's Way better. Oh, we have no idea 
The it, little things you take for granted sometimes. It is weird. I mean, because growing up in the U.S., you never thought about water. Uh, it just never thought of it. There's, we, we didn't where we live, but there's some people who live Probably. in the country who have right. pumps and wells. 100%. And wells. 100%. 100%. Uh, we were city mice, I guess. We were. So to be out here and have tanks on your roof and have pumps everywhere, and it was, and then the whole drought thing was going yeah. on, and... and and no water pressure, and no. so it's it's a it's a miracle. Yep. <laughs> and the electrical is probably going to go in the next week or two too. I think in an earlier video we talked about Enel, which is the company that does all the construction work for um, power services here. So we had gotten they have this really nice website. And we got on there, we hit the button, and we were not because we're Americans and we have an American code fiscal fiscale. Uh, we were not allowed to move our um, meter. No. So the electrician came over and he says, don't worry about it. We're going to proceed with the original plan and then we'll screw around with that. I don't want to tell them the box isn't working and they have to move it or whatever. So, you know, welcome to Sicily. <laughs> I, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's going to get done and that's good because at some point we want to have solar panels yeah. and we need to get a couple of um, heat pumps installed right. and just... I don't know. No, no, it's just things just are be moving. more comfortable. And I, yeah, I mean, and I think more than anything this week, yeah, it's like all of the projects kind of have picked back up again, and they're starting to move. Yeah. I mean, you worked on the walls and the ceiling again. Yeah, those like, are looking a lot better. We had the the chimney, which is right next to me now. Um, there was a big hole in our ceiling for the longest time, so that's all patched up and away. fixed up, and that feels more like a house it's it is slowly slowly getting there but yeah it does mm -hmm. you know so the next couple of weeks you know next month we should like actually maybe yeah we have a lot of company coming <laughs> we do. that always is as you well know when company is coming it really uh -huh. kind of increases the pace of the, of the homer model you think it always does. I know. Like my parents used to come out and visit, or your mom used to come out and visit, and they would spend like the two weeks beforehand painting, getting projects done, everything yeah. before they showed up. So we're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just on a different scale. Yeah. So, but anyway. So, and also, so our son had, Brian had done a video um, a few weeks ago about um, the carob pods. Yeah. And so on the, on the road here, yeah. um, they're, they're, but there's a bunch of carapods. Yeah, I took a little video of that. Yeah. And so, this is... Okay, so I'm on my bike ride today, and I decided I was going to stop and pick up some of these carapods, which are all over the place here, just going to waste. And uh, after the episode we did and uh, a couple weeks ago, and I talked about carob and how much I liked it, my son was on Instagram, and he saw this recipe uh, for carob chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups. So it's sounded pretty good. So anyhow, we're gonna get these we're gonna get these pods and uh then you soak them in water, um, which makes it easier to get the seeds out, and then you dry them and then you grind the pods into powder and uh we're gonna give it a go. So And so then we took the I took the carob home. Yeah, and then you had to I had to boil it and then um, let it sit overnight and then cut them open and take all the seeds out and then lay them. That took a long time. It did take a long time for yeah. most of the day. And then um, then we dried them. We did. We dried them out in the sun. And then after that, we had to you had to grind them up. And our food processor wasn't quite strong enough. No, and enough. it made nice small pieces. but Right. So then from there, we have to put them in a spice put milk. On a spice grinder, yeah. And, and now I've got... Carob powder, pounds. and I've still got a half a bucket full of carob pods to make but more. But it is really good. It is good. We made brownies. It was we had, surprisingly good. I know. So we had company that, that come for dinner um, last week, and we made brownies. He ate the old tray. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> God. Literally said, oh, my God, these are so good. He just kept feeding them like a 9 by 13 tray. So we gave him a bag of carob powder to go home with and the recipe. So, which, <laughs> But then today I made a, a bunch of different energy bars and I made a little dates stuffed with peanut butter and carob powder. And so yeah. You can just substitute it for cocoa powder. Exactly. And it, you, if you can find it, you know, on Amazon or maybe even find it in a spe specialty store, yeah. you should 
try it as a substitute for cocoa powder because it's really interesting. Well, and it's super healthy for you. Yeah, that too. Uh, that, so it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So I know a lot of people, a lot of the sites that I was reading um, and looking for recipes, they said they would make it for their children, like brownies or cakes or cookies, because it didn't have the caffeine in it. Right. And so there's that. And it, it is chock full of vitamins. It is. More so than cocoa powder. Yep. So and it, it's, it's, a, it's a winner. So it's got that going. It's a winner. I know so and I guess the only festival we've we've we went to was um, in Kanakatani. Kanakatini. Kanakatini. It was good too. It was so. There's a, there's this town that we go th- by on, on the way to Syracuse or on the way to. Kind of it's a little dumpy, honestly, as when we drive by. When you drive by, it's just like it's. It, you know, I I was thinking about this. My first reference of that place is when Massimo picked us up from picked us up from the airport. It was my first time coming here. Oh. And the police or the cabinary had oh, pulled yeah. over a car and they were taking everything out of the car, just stripping it down, yeah. trying to find obviously trying to find something. And that's the town that we went by and I'm like going, mm-hmm. Oh, awesome. So every time I drive by that one section it's like yeah. not really like interested in going in. However, we did it for this festival. It is stunningly beautiful. Really? I mean, you have to get into it a little bit, but mm-hmm. then they have this long plaza, right? Mm-hmm. With a fabulous church. Inside this church, in the middle of nowhere, they actually had a Rubens painting. I mean, it wasn't in very good shape, but they had a 16th century bell that had yeah. been on the church, and they had the most beautiful baptismal I've ever seen. It was, over, it was built in 1900, okay. and it's built all in wood. It's, it, it was beautiful. I mean, oh, it was fabulous. Well, and then the, ar- the architecture itself of all the buildings was all like Art Nouveau. Yeah. Art, and just the, the, the 20th century. The details were, spe- they were just spectacular. It's a really beautiful town. I bet in its heyday, yeah. in the early 1900s, I bet that place was just bustling. Hopping, hopping. So, but it was the, the festival itself. Oh, yeah. Was and good. Then, you know, yeah. like always, they had the. Um, it was a band the, competition. The, yeah, cut to the bands. <laughs> followed the bands around for a while, mm-hmm. right? And then um, they were in the square playing. And... and that was like, okay, I've had enough, I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, and the other part of the festival, it was um, a chingale or wild boar yeah. festival, which is uh, perfect because really Brian's obviously nickname was always wild boar. Yeah, so. well, it gets shortened to Wilbur, but originally in the old England, I guess it was wild, wild boar. boar. So we had sausage and hung out. And then you, you also, you met a brewery there. I did. I wish I could remember the name of the brewery. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, I had an imperial IPA that was really good. And an Imperial IPA that's every bit as good as anyone I've ever had in Oregon. Cheers. That's really good. And so, you know, after I had drank it, I went over to the guy and I said, where did you learn how to brew beer? Because it tasted just like Oregon. I mean, I could have been in Portland drinking that beer. Yeah. And it was even better than the beers I've drank in. Important because an imperial IPA generally is really hoppy and um, high in alcohol. And sometimes the alcohol is really tough and right. it's too bitter. <laughs> this was so good. And he said, I only use uh, hops from the Pacific Northwest. Like, so, yeah, okay. Yeah, he was very pleased that someone knew that. He's well, a that's good a tough guy. Thing. I mean, you're in Sicily. That's a, like an obscure thing to know. I know. Right? It was, it, but, you know, we loved one of our favorite things to do, or one of my favorite things to do when we were in Portland, was to go hang out at a brew pub for a couple hours on a weekend. Well, there was such, such a different atmosphere there. Yeah. You know, which is kind of fun. So. Yeah, they don't have brew pubs here. No, not so much. 
but no, but it was good. It was, you know, then tonight, apparently they're having, they used to have donkey races, but they're not doing donkey or they're just doing, they're parading the donkeys through town. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, I know. <laughs> we're scaling back a little bit, which is just kind of, it feels like fall and it just does. does, you know. It's really nice. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah. Is that it? I think so. I mean, we had some other stuff, but we'll probably. We, you know, we like, um, you made some peppers. You braided some peppers. Oh, yeah, I did it's that. Kind of fun. Yeah, I braided some peppers and I, you went so through and. Many hot peppers. We kind of took the garden apart, you know, which is the the tomatoes were all done, which is sad, but they're all done now. But peppers to to the cows come home. Yeah. Oh, and almonds! Oh my god! Oh yeah, we did. We oh yeah. Oh my god! We, our, oh we my harvested god. almonds. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> We did that, and we got probably four or five hundred. Yeah, I mean, it was funny because it was like we did a few trees, and then we thought we got them all, and then you, you come back a little bit later, and the sun hits the tree in a different way. It's like, oh my god, we missed this hell half of this tree, <laughs> and then later on we realized that we missed like two trees down the, down the driveway. So it was like, so they kept trickling in, but yeah, we've we've got quite a few, so, and a lot of them are really big. And they're big, yeah, big honkers. So so I was excited for that. That was fun. We had some last year, just some. That were, you know, we got here late last year, so there were still a few hangers on ours yeah. in the trees and some on the ground, and I, I had them, and they are, they're delicious. They're sweet. They're like they taste vanilla. like vanilla. Yeah. yeah. It's bizarre. I mean, I know there's almond extract and vanilla extract, but it's remarkable how similar they are. Right. Yeah. No, and we also almost killed ourselves. <laughs> And we didn't know. Well, well we went out. We, 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 you might remember, we had these almond trees on the side of our property. Just loaded. bursting with almonds. And they still are bursting with almonds. <laughs> and and uh, we had one. I had one a couple weeks ago, a week ago, just to see what it tasted like. Right. I was like, man, this tastes like crap. It was super bitter. Really right? bitter. And it was like, man, maybe it's just not ready. And so. So Massimo came over and got chatting. and Yeah. He it, let us know that those are. Bitter almonds. Bitter almonds. And they have like a lot of cyanide in them, so you shouldn't eat them. Yes. We were, didn't we read something like you can eat 10 bitter almonds and have a serious problem? Oh, yeah. You could like stop breathing, your nervous system shuts down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, if you cook them and you boil them yeah. or you roast them or you do, you, you process them somehow with heat, it kills yes. the, the, the poison out of it. And they use it for almond extract yeah. and for soaps. and. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. eat them. So that we'll do, we'll, we'll tackle that next year maybe. Yeah. Yeah, not this year. No, not this year. So. But we have almonds. We do have almonds. Oh. I think that was it. I, I mean, mean, our friends. We have a lot of neighbors. The sheep. The, the people have been moving the sheep around from field to field. That's always yeah. a blast to watch. I love that. It's like it seems like a scene out of The Godfather. Sometimes some dusty old road, some crusty old. Yeah. Shepherd and you know I love that. It's fun. It is fun. So. Anything yeah. else? Um, I don't think so. I mean, we, you know, our days are just, we got into some rhythms, which is nice, you know. It's a very good life here for a retired person. Yes. I mean, there's lots to do. Mm -hmm. It's piano, piano. Yep. Um, yeah. I don't know, we're never bored. Oh, God, no. No. No, to the point where it's like sometimes we're so busy. It's like it was really nice, honestly, to have a week of just yeah putzing around the house, which is, you know, which is fun. Yep. Yeah. But yesterday was my birthday. Yesterday? No. Two days ago was my birthday. And we went up to Mount Etna, so we'll show you that next week. Yeah. And then um, for my birthday tonight, actually, we're going to... Dinner in Palazzolo. Andrea. Andrea. See. Si. Andrea. Yeah. So, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. We don't have a lot going on this week. No. Quiet week. 
I think. Lots of hours work. Yeah, trying to get the project done, maybe, yeah. kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do yoga? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Clean the pool, do yoga, go on my treadmill, do the laundry. Paint, okay. pick, up, that, pick, no. up, pick up after Brian. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Clean up on aisle six. <laughs> you are good at that. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, all right. Have a fabulous week. A great week. And uh, we'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao.